Uh, my convoy was hit by a roadside bomb. Uh, it impacted the side of my Humvee. Army Sergeant Jennifer Hunt's job was to help Iraqis rebuild the country, but suddenly one day she was in combat. I had shrapnel through my cheek. Um, it came into this side of my cheek and it, it uh, left the front. It's not really supposed to be this way. 16 years ago, the Pentagon banned women from serving in battlefield units whose primary mission is to engage in direct combat on the ground. But the reality is today, women are going on patrol, driving convoys, flying helicopters in a war with no front lines. This week, an astounding admission from the head of the Army. General, uh, what's your view about expanding the the ability of women to serve in combat roles? Uh, Senator, I, I believe that it's time that we take a look at what women are actually doing in, in Iraq and Afghanistan and we and look at our policies. And then we, we've discussed this uh, b between ourselves here. 235,000 women have deployed to the war zones. 125 have lost their lives, 668 wounded. The military, already struggling to allow gays to openly serve, may not be ready for more change. Elaine Donnelly of the Conservative Center for Military Readiness has long opposed women in combat, writing recently, women on average do not have the physical capability to lift a fully loaded male soldier who has been wounded under fire. But Sergeant Hunt, wearing a purple heart, says women and men face the same dangers. I do feel that I was in combat, yes. I, I was engaged by the enemy when they, you know, exploded an IED near my Humvee. You can't hit the pause button and say, you know, I'm, I'm not, this, you know, I'm not supposed to be here, you know, don't shoot at me.